everyone. Now, uh, many people ask me about blogging uh, in general, so I thought it'd be a good idea to make this video. So I'll tell you how I got into it and whether you should get into it yourself. Uh, I mean, I always <laughs> sounds really geeky. Um, I did a lot of sort of HTML codes when I was really young, learning you know computers and stuff in the nineties. Uh, I think I had my first website probably from ninety nine or something like that. But uh, I mean, I did it once, made it, and then didn't do anything. Blogging wise, I started probably about two thousand and three, four. Um, more and then that was more like you know I had still had the site I maybe did a few videos and stuff um, but I didn't really make it mainstream like properly like I did until about 2007 then I lost the blog on a free server so then this current website I've been doing dazzle 590uk has been running since August the 20th or 14th 2008 and I've been doing it ever since then um, now a lot of people will throw around the statistics that I think it's 95% of all blogs fail within six months and that's totally true. Uh, it's one of the hardest things to keep putting content out, you just can't convey. I mean, you can see my channel and you see all the videos I put out, and that, I mean, there are people who put out so many more videos. It's so hard to keep generating content that's unique. Uh, you suddenly have that buzz for the first month of, oh, let's write about this, let's do this. That's easy. It's, it's then afterwards and you get the cold spots, you know, what am I going to put out? Am I going to put out junk? Or am I going to you know, try and develop something a bit more? Or do I just leave it empty? Always make sure you tell your audience if, um, or the community if you're going to take a break for an like extended period or anything like that. I mean, a week's fine, but anything longer, whether it's you know video blogging or actual just typing, or, you know, it's good to let people know because people turn up and you want visitors to constantly come back to your content. And if it's changing or it's suddenly not being updated, then they'll just disappear. Um, I do it because, uh, well, it's sort, of, it's sort of a topic that's interesting me, obviously, technology and stuff like that, and I was doing it anyway, so I thought, well, why not convey my opinions and stuff to the community, and maybe show uh, what I think and what, what they think, find out what they do, see if anybody's similar. Uh, I enjoy doing it, yes, okay, it is time-consuming, and not a day goes by without me thinking of it, um, but it, it's fun at the same time. Uh, it's, 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 I'm not going to say it's like a job, it's, not, it's something that's always going on, so you never sort of forget it. I think when you do it for so long after the six month period, then you'll sort of get it into your brain as it's sort of something that's part of life, so you sort of lose that sort of hobbiness to it, because initially obviously you're just doing it to get away from your main work, so oh, that's right, a blog post to me. So it changes that way in terms of how you view it in your life, but I still really enjoy it and I'm still going to continue it. I might change my website slightly and rebrand it, but ever since I've been doing it, I mean, I love getting, seeing the opinions of people, even if it's all the, the haters and the fails or whatever, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, but it's good fun to see what people think and I like getting content out there. Um, if you're interested in it, well, it, you know, it's a great avenue to be inspirational and be imaginative and creative. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I recommend if you're going to do a blog or something, not only try and, try and keep it constant. Um, one tip I actually give you is if you have loads of ideas, don't try and do a blog post every day, so let's say four days in a row, and then lose ideas and not have anything for a whole week. Try and keep the ideas, maybe write the post, just don't publish it if it's not like time specific, and then balance it out to so maybe two a week or something for a couple of weeks. So at least then um, it'll, sit, it'll appear as if you're keeping and generating content. Do something that you love whether it's you know fashion, movies, games, or books or something, do it that you like. But also don't make it as if it's like a personal diary, because people, well people do like reading diaries, but uh, if it's all me, 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 people aren't going to watch it. People want to learn things as well as have fun. So uh, try it. It's a hard balance. I know I still haven't got the whole balance yet, but uh, it takes time and it's good fun. Uh, and that's really my view on blogging and how I see it. I mean, I do it more on YouTube now. It started off as a written blog but I found that I could be more creative and it was easier to convey my opinion across in video than it is in text, even though I do a lot of writing for, um, for my degree, but that doesn't matter. Oh well. Um, so yeah, so I'm more on the videos now, but I started the website as a place to con con you know, put all my content together, whether it's off uh, you know, Twitter, the blog posts, you know, YouTube and, and Flickr and stuff like that. So it's a good place to have as a gateway for all my online content. Um, any other tips? Well, I always, I don't think you should ever use your full name on the internet, really, in terms of if this sort of enterprise, I don't think that's great. Some people will do, you know, that's fine with them. Personally, I don't think you should. Um, there has to be limits between your real life and, uh, and the online world that you live in. Other tips? Obviously, content is key. Make it appealing to people, that's number two. Um, keep it constant. Uh, advertise with your friends and see if, see what they think. Get their opinion of it because they're going to be the, sort of your harshest critics in a way. Um, and it is hard to tell people, oh look, I do this on the internet. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing. Um, but that's always good because you don't and don't be disheartened because you'll you'll start a blog and nobody will read it for a while. Maybe you might have a couple of readers, um, and that's it. 
But you know, I, I I was doing it on YouTube for at least I don't know six months or something like that until I hit around fifty subscribers, and, then, and before then it was just literally just me watching them and a couple of my friends. Um, so I knew what they thought of them, and it's just getting it out to the wider community. Promotion is hard; it's not easy. I uh, recommend doing it on either forums about your topic, so if there's fashion forums or game forums, go on there, maybe spread a bit of opinion first, don't just spam it with your website because nobody likes that. Uh, you know, Just go out there, maybe make a few friends, recommend your website, see what they think about it, uh, and then throw it out there, put it in like your signatures on your forums, on the websites, and anywhere else, put it on Facebook if you want, um, and, and just hope. I know, it's a game of luck, and maybe it'll work for you. Uh, yeah, so if you're going to start a blog, or you started one, and you want some tips, or well, or you want me to tell me what you think of, or what I think of your blog, or you know, or what you think of mine, I'd love to know what you think of maybe my videos or the or the blog itself. Is it useful? Do you visit both? It's all great uh, to know what everyone thinks, and that's how we improve. Criticism is great, uh, constructive criticism. Though. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I've been Daz. Uh, don't forget to please subscribe to the video if you've never watched any of mine before. This is quite a serious one, but I hope you've learned something from it. And thanks very much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. Rate and comment as well, because I like to know what you think. Cheers, guys. Bye.